And Bryant's kick is a sidewinder. Going to skip about the 20. Be picked up by one of the up backs. That's Watley, a return man. He cuts it through and spins all the way out to the 40-yard line. So they come to the line of scrimmage. And the big center, Patrick Naava, is out over the ball. He is 336 and is 6-2. So he is a load in that line. They go on the ground immediately. They hit in the middle, and it's going to be Davis. That's no surprise. He gets a yard out to the 42-yard line, and Pat Williams wrapped him up and slammed him then to the ground. So about a yard, it'll be second down and nine. He averages over five yards a carry into this game today. Second down and nine, he's the lone setback, flanker left, slot right, they break the slot. Green's in motion to the far side of the field. Straight drop, pocket of the 35, throw, caught at the 46-yard line, Iowa State 46. Todd Doxson is the quarterback, he is under center, and a man in motion coming back to this side. They roll to the left, they set up, they throw the ball, and it is incomplete. And it will be Dante Hall standing back near the Aggie 10-yard line. Don't believe they painted this field prior to the game today, so it's hard to pick up these yard markers. Here's the punt. It's a nice one. And Hall is backing up inside the five. He's going to return it from the three, looking for a hole. He won't find it. He gets it back to the 10-yard line. And Brandon Stewart will be the quarterback. The lead back out of an eye formation will be Hardeman. The tailback is Sir Parker. Stewart looking both sides of his offensive line and now they snap the ball and they hand it off up the middle and the Ags will get about three yards. Stewart comes to the line but he turns around and says something now to his offensive the running backs. Now he's under center. Second down coming. Play action. Stewart throws over the middle and the ball will be incomplete almost intercepted at about the 35. Single setback. Wide outs both sides of the ball. Slot to the right. I think that's Aaron Oliver over here. They have moved Parker up closer to the line of scrimmage. Straight drop, throw it, and it's deflected. Line of scrimmage will be about the 14-yard line. So they stand a chance here to get pretty good field position. Darren Davis is the return man. Here's the snap, and the punt is a nice one. He's backing up to the Iowa State 40. There he gets it. He fumbled the ball, and I think A&M has come up with it. Let's see where the ball is. Jones is laying the last time I saw the football on top of it. And they're going to give it to Iowa State. Iowa State at the 39-yard line. First down and 10, Parmatier and Davis are the running backs, and it is a light eye. They will give it to Davis. He's going to take it inside, and he'll get about four, maybe five yards. So second down, and we'll call it about six from the Cyclone 43-yard line. Hash right, and a audible being called here by Doxon. Doxon is a senior, three letters out of Nebraska. Straight drop, shallow pocket, throwing deep to the sideline, and the ball is incomplete, intended down at about the 30. 11.41 to go in the first. Clock stops on the incomplete. Here's the third down play. Davis is the lone setback. Doxon calling signals, line of scrimmage, the 44. Straight drop, pocket at the 35, outside pressure, quarterback sack now back at the 33-yard line. Outside pressure came, first of all, from Keith Mitchell. And then the second man to make the tackle and get the sack will be Brandon Mitchell. They will give them the 35-yard line on the sack. And that is the first sack this season for Brandon Mitchell, who has eight quarterback pressures, but not a sack. And here is the punt by Harris, and it is not a good punt. And the Ags are going to get away from it. It hits at about the 30, now rolls inside the 25, now down around the 21-yard line. Go to Kroger in Bryant or College Station to join. And here's the play. And they'll pitch it back to the right side. And that will go to Sir Parker in the line of scrimmage again at about the 20-yard line. The Aggies come to the line of scrimmage, and they'll show a split backfield. Tight ends on the left, and it goes to the left half, and it's going to be Hardeman. Hardeman will carry close to the 30, and he just broke out. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. He's being chased. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. And he will get it down to the one-yard line, to the two. It'll be official mark, officially marked at the two-yard line. At the line of scrimmage on a first and goal from the yard and a half line. It's Texas A&M, and the handoff will go to Hardeman. He's trying the uh, left side, and he falls over the goal line. It is a touchdown. Ninth touchdown that he has scored this season. So suddenly it's the Tiki Hardeman show, and he takes a little bit away here from the uh, Heisman candidate Troy Davis on the second Aggie offensive possession of the game and we have not quite played five minutes 10.06 to go and A&M's Kyle Bryant on with the extra points and it is good and one of our statisticians Doug Walker said it looked like the Cyclone had him by the jersey and you won't bring uh, Tiki down with a jersey tackle and here is the kickoff and it's a nice one Davis is backing up that's 
the younger brother, Darren Davis, and that one will hit and go out of the back of the end zone. He has been held below 100 yards only once now in his career. His first and 10 at the 20, and it's play action. It's an end around. No, it's play action again, and now Doxon's going to have to run with the ball at the 20, the 25, out to about the 28. And again, they'll go with an offset uh, formation in the backfield. And there was movement on the left side of the formation. I think the tight end moved. Didiazzi. And it should be five against the Cyclones. Penalty backs him up. Second down. Here's a delay out of the backfield to Davis. He bounces up. No, that will not be Davis. Check it here in a moment as he got it across the 25 to about the 26. Green goes one way, and Watley comes the other. They have a man in the slot, and that will be Williams. The single setback is Davis. They face third down and about four. Doxon now turning to both sides, looking at his receivers, and he calls an audible. The snap, rolling this way, coming to the near side, all the way back to the 15, throws the ball, and he throws it into the sideline as he runs out of bounds at the 10, being chased there by Datwin and somewhat by Keith Mitchell. The punter, Harris, he's twice, 49 and 44, will take the snap back at the 11. It's a nice waist-high snap. There's some outside pressure, and the punt is away. And it's going to the far side of the field. It'll be taken by uh, Hall at the 20, back out across the uh, 50. Now he's back to the 45, and he's breaking one this way. He's got a chance at the 30, at the 20, at the 10. He will score! Everything in order, and he just returns it after a 69-yard 69, 69 run. Here's the extra point. I think he got that ball about the 30, as I mentioned earlier. Got at the 31-yard line. I couldn't tell at first if he had the 20 or the 31. They did not paint uh, their numbers and the hash marks prior to this game. So it's hard to pick that up from this low vantage point. Extra point, however, is going to be good. We can see that. And now it is a 14-0 Texas A&M lead with 8.02 to go. Well, also, one of the uh, one of the punt return guys, that uh, one of his teammates was right there with Dante. It was nice to see him come into the picture and shield off any potential tackler. Tell you what, it was a nice punt as well. That went 43 yards. Here is the kickoff, and he puts it out. Does Bryant out of the back of the end zone again. They will start for the second time in a row at their own 20. 69 yards on that punt return. Yale Larry returned one against SMU in 1950. I think is what the record book said. Uh, and that, I didn't know if that went for a touchdown or not. But uh, that's going to put uh, Hall in the record books as one of the top ten. Here's the first down play, and they're going to have a sweep in this direction to Troy Davis, and he's caught behind the line of scrimmage, and he's dropped by Warwick Holman back at about the 18-yard line. Last time out against Missouri, Davis carried 41 times for 378 yards. Here's a second down and 12 from the 18. Long snap count. Doxon takes it. Two-step drop. Now under pressure. Rolling back to his uh, right. He's still under some pressure. Now has the ball. Flips it. And it's going to be caught by the fullback at the 30. Then it will be a first down all the way out to the 34-yard line. 6.58 to go in the first quarter. The Aggies lead 4-0 over Iowa State. Ball now at the ISU 34-yard line. and They will roll back to the right. They throw the ball. It is incomplete. Trying to get it to. Mike Brantley at big plays today by the Aggies. 74-yard run by Hardeman. Here's play action again. And now forced out of the pocket. Doxon's going to run with it. He'll get it to the 40-yard line. He got five. Here's the third and five. They have motion. Now they reverse the field, go back the other way. Here's Doxon rolling to the right. Sets the pocket at the 32-yard line. There was a trip and a fall as it goes incomplete out around the ISU 48. And then again, he'll keep bouncing it inside. And you have to be alert because, like in the Wyoming game, it Two or three yards, and all of a sudden he'd break one for 10 or 15. Here's the punt by Harris, and it's off the side of his foot somewhat. And at the 20, here's Hall. Back to the uh, 25, across the 30, up to the 34-yard line. 5.48 to go in the first quarters. 14 to nothing, the Aggies over the Cyclone. Stewart is the man under an eye formation behind him. And it's uh, going to be a handoff coming back this way to Parker. Looks for the corner at the 35, at the 40. He's out of bounds at about... No state inbounds at the 42-yard line. Mark Broyles missed the game last week, is back in this week. He's the fullback, and behind him is Parker. Second down and very short. Broyles on the handoff. He's not going to pick up the first down. He's driven back to the 40-yard line. And m shows a five. With a flanker to the left, split in right. And we'll put it in the air from the pocket. Back at the 35. Throw it caught by Hawkins. He'll have enough for the first down. He's across the 45-yard line in Here's a first and 10 as they moved it across the 50 into ISU territory. Split back, slot left. 
It's on the ground. Goes to Parker. He'll bust it over the right side. Across the 40, now about the 37-yard line. And here's second down and five. Snap it. Hand it off. It's Broyles. Broyles will make the 35-yard line. We'll pick up about three. It'll be third down and three. Third down and three from the ISU 35. Split back, slot left. Stewart, there's the snap. Hand it off to Parker. Started outside. Cuts it back in. And he'll pick up a first down across the 30 near the 39 will go Sir Parker. Talk to you in a moment about total offense by AM over the last three games. High formation, first and 10, the 30s, the tailback. It'll go to Parker again. Sir Parker to about the 25, maybe the 24 yard line. The Ags now are running their eighth play on this possession, facing a second down and five. Says a whole lot about this offensive unit. Eye formation again on second and five. He just fumbled the snap from center, but I think Stewart got it back. He pulled away too quick from behind center Calvin Collins and fell on it at the 25-yard line. It's third and five. The Iowa State fans getting behind their defense. They have six men up on the line of scrimmage. Straight drop, lofted toward the sideline, and he overthrows the intent receiver, Oliver, at about the five. He will spot it down at the 32. Bill Johnston will hold it. It'll be a 42-yard effort. The angle is back to the left. Now he's counting off his steps. He will start from the ISU 35 as he approaches the ball. Kyle Lednecki snaps it. Johnson puts it down. It's a line drive, and that kick is good. And now AM leads it by a score of 17 to nothing. 17 to nothing, the Aggies. A minute 33 to go here in the first quarter. Give you some interesting facts here in a moment. Iowa State has allowed this season their opponents 133 points. Of that 133, 17 have been scored total in the first uh, quarter of play. The Aggies have that many here in the first quarter. Davis going back, and the kickoff from Kyle Bryant will hit the inline and then quickly out of the back of the end zone. With a minute 33 to go until the end of the first quarter. Doxon the man under, they come out with a light eye. Now they shift the full back. He will set up on the right side, which will turn it uh, to a, a matter of fact, it's a heavy eye. Here's the handoff. It goes to Davis. He's looking for the outside. Now he is wrapped up. One, two. Sean Horn's there. He got two yards out of that. Last year against Oklahoma, the only time in his career since he's become a starter. He was carried 21 times for 89 yards. It's the only time he's had less than 100. Once again, it goes to Davis. He will break it across the 25, and that'll be it. Single setback slot to the right. Long snap count. Drop it straight back. Throw it out in the flats to Davis. Catches the ball at the 20. He will be close for a first down. Did he get the first down? He did. First and 10. Iowa State at the 30, and they'll hand off Davis, sweep right, cuts it back inside, he gets it across the 35 to about the 37, much to the delight of the Cyclone fans directly in front of us. All right, given the go-ahead, first play of the second quarter is about to be run here in front of us. Second down and three, and it goes to Davis again, cuts it back to his right, and now quickly back to his left, and he nears the 40-yard line. Parmenter is the fullback, 5'11", 250. And Davis behind him, and they will come back this direction. Davis will break it across the 40 out to the 45-yard line. First down and 10, the ball now at the 46. It is on the Iowa State side of the 50-yard line. They'll come out and show a, matter of fact, two tied in, so it's a heavy eye. Play action, roll back to the 35, to his right. Doxon looking down the field. He is pumping, and now runs out of bounds and goes into the Iowa State bench. I caught Tyrone Watley pleading his case on pushing by the secondary of the Aggies to one of the officials on the far side. Very animated conversation. The Ags just jumped off sides on the left side. And we'll get a number on that. I think it's Pat Williams. Pat yeah, Williams. it was. Pat went over and got a rest on the sideline, and he was ready to go. And he went off a little bit too soon, and that'll give the uh, Cyclones the first down. Yep, it will. It'll move the ball now across the 45 to about the 44. Playing in the second quarter with 13.54 to go. And the Aggies lead by a count of 17 to nothing. So first down and 10. The penalty will net the first down. This is their deepest penetration of the day. The Aggie 44. They will hand off to Davis. They try the right side. He breaks through and gets it across the 40 to the 39-yard line. Second ball game against Iowa. He carried 20 times, 152 yards. And here he is today against the Aggies. And it's a uh, handoff to Davis, and there was miscommunication there. The Davis on that last carry looked like that wasn't quite sure when he was supposed to get the ball from Todd Doxon, the quarterback. He lines up at the tailback line of scrimmage, the 40. He's standing back at the 45, and they have play action. They will throw to the sideline, and it will be caught for a first down by 
Tyro to Watley. Slot to the uh, left. Two wideouts, matter of fact, here on the left. Not a slot to tight ends in that direction. The split ends on the right side of the formation. Line of scrimmage again is the 27. Doxon long snap count. Hands it off to Davis. He tries the middle and gets maybe the 24. And that'll be about all. They went right up the middle. Second down and eight. Now Doxon is calling an audible. Bags were cheating up close on the line of scrimmage. Snap it, drop it back to about the 30, throw to the sideline, and the ball is incomplete. That's over the head of the intended receiver, Green. And the defensive man that time was Shun Horn for the Aggies at about the three. It may have been uh, Donovan Greer. I think it was Donovan yeah, Greer. Was and Donovan. You... Here's third down, and we'll call it eight from the Aggie 24-yard line. Hash to the right, single setback. Two wideouts on both sides of the ball. Doxon waiting for the snap. Now he gets it. Pumps, throws, and it is caught for a first down across the 15 to about the 14-yard line, caught by Ed Williams. Sean Horn in bump and run coverage, and he had outstanding coverage. It was just good execution by Iowa State. Pat Williams is back in the ballgame. That's good news. And a sweep to the right by Davis, and he gets it inside. Well, it's, I want to say the 10, but he stopped at the 11-yard line. Here's a second down play. A&M called a timeout. Wanted to talk it over on the sideline. Doxon looking over the defense. He's under center. They snap it. They're rolling to the right. He will cut it back, and he's going to get uh, the 10, maybe the 9. He has not thrown a whole lot. In 25 games, he has thrown uh, for over 200 yards just three times. A lot of shifting on the, and the Ags just jumped off sides, and let's see if they were drawn off sides as Iowa State had come to the line on the third down and five at the 10-yard line. A&M came crashing through, and indeed it will be against Iowa State. They moved, so an illegal procedure against the Cyclones. will move the ball back to the 15-yard line, so third and 10 instead of the third and five. That's the call against Iowa State. Our third down and 10, single setback. Drop it back to the 20. Doxon steps up. He's going to run with the ball, and he's going to pick up a first down inside the five, down to about the two. First and goal from the two. It's a heavy eye on the handoff to Davis. He is hit and dropped at the one-yard line. They try the left side. He butted helmet to helmet, one of the, one of the Aggie defenders. Yeah. Second down, goal at the one. And again, Davis. And Davis is trying to get in. I don't think he made it. They're going to give him the one-inch line. That'll be all. Third down and goal again inside the one. Hash left. Two tight ends. And they're going to try to sneak for it. And they will get in. Doxon just snuck for it. But there's no rule yet. No signal yet. What? There, there it, is. it is. There's the signal at last. Snaps it. Had trouble trying to put that down. But he gets it down. And the extra point is good. And it is now a 17-7 A&M lead. At 8-21 mark in the second. We take a break. This is the Texas Aggie Network. They are ready to kick it off. Approach the ball. And there will be a chance for a return. It will be taken by Connell. Two yards deep. They, they wanted to stay back, but he didn't do it. He's out across the 20, trips up, all the way across the 25 to the 27. Used his hand to keep going. Here's first down and 10 at the 26-yard line. The lead back flexed out to the right side will be Hardeman. The tail back is Bernard. He's in for the first time today on a first and 10. Snap it, play action, roll this direction. Now throw the ball. Will be caught by the tight end Spiller. Stretching out, trying to get the first down, and I think he did with the extra stretch. Derek Spiller, 8 for 114, so that's number one. I think we threw at him earlier in the game. Here's first down and 10. The ball's at the 37, the Aggie 37, and it's going to be Hardeman. Hardeman is bottled up as he hits the line of scrimmage. He got a yard. Here's a second down and eight split backs. Stewart drops back 31, throws the ball. He'll get it to Spiller. Spiller caught the ball, almost tripped and fell at about the 41, and then was able to... Sort of stumble forward to the 44. Not enough for a first down. We're going to face third down and three when we come back to the line of scrimmage. A slot to the left. Connell's in the slot. Split in in that direction is Hawkins. Bumgardner's on this side. So Oliver left the lineup. Snap it. Drop it back. Looking for the flats. And there's a quarterback sack all the way back to the 32. Pumped. Bernard never turned around to look. Line of scrimmage will be the 33. Leckler's first punt today. 46. Davis back. Here's the kick. Little wobbly, and Davis will call for a fair catch and will take the ball at the 35-yard line. First down and 10. Parmeter is the fullback. He's flexed off to the right side. That will be a heavy eye. Davis the tailback. Doxon is the man under. And they got movement on the right side. That's uh, the uh, split in here on this side. That will be Ed Williams flinched. 
blinked, did something, and the official <laughs> dropped the flag on him, so they'll move him back five illegal procedures. So it'll be first down and 15. Widely wide right. Williams stays out here wide left. And they have a tight end on the right side of the formation. They then will show a heavy eye. And there is a handoff to Davis in the backfield. He is bottled up. He is slung down back behind the line. They're going to give him the... Moved him back five. So now it's second down and a handful. About 20 or so. Straight drop back from the pocket. Here is the pass at the 35. Caught and then dropped. They made the tackle at the 36. Did not drop the ball. And Andre Williams wrapped up the receiver Tyrone Watley. Jimmy Irby seeing a lot of playing time today for Texas A&M. Here's the third down play. Play action. Doxson sets up. Will throw. He's going to the sideline on the far side. That's the first down and near out of bounds at the 50. 49 out of bounds at the Iowa State 49-yard line. In the Big 12, the Aggies are number one against the rush, number three in the nation, averaging just 30, 60.4 points a game. And it's a sweep to the left by Davis. Cuts it back inside at the 50. Trips as he hits the Aggie 49. Second down coming then. And they need about seven. Under center, Doxson again. They're operating in Aggie territory. Here's the handoff to Davis in the backfield. He busts through. And did he, he fumble, fumble the ball? I think he fumbled, and Texas A&M has recovered. It's Pat Williams with a football. He fumbled as he hit the 45. It slipped away. Now you see everybody scrambling for something, and it was the football. And Pat Williams has ended up with the ball at the Aggie 43-yard line. It'll be a turnover against ISU. So let's see if the Ags can take advantage of this turnover day, but their own 43 with 3.53 to go until halftime. A&M comes out and shows a heavy eye. Pitch it to the left. Bernard looking for the left corner. Got an inside block. Cuts it back to his right. He's going to be near midfield at the 50. Eric Bernard. Eric Bernard, 44 carries, 339 yards into the ball game. Here's second down and about three and a half. It's Bernard again. He steps inside. Now he's caught behind the line, and he will be dropped back at the 48. Split backs in the backfield. Split in right, tight end left. Flanker wide to the left. Connell. Stewart. Takes it, drops back to the 42, throws, and it is caught and then dropped. He had it in his hands, and as he was stumbling, it was Derek Spiller that tied in at the 49. And here is Leckler again, 46 and 32 on a couple of his punts today. He will take the snap from center at the Aggie 33. Lednicki is the deep snapper, and this is a nice punt. And it's going to hit in the end zone. And they'll bring it out to the 20 with 2 minutes and 37 seconds to go. A&M moving uh, Keith Mitchell right to left. He goes down on a three-point stance. And it's play action. Here is pressure from the backside, and they throw the ball deep incomplete at the Aggie 45. Second down and 10 again from the 20. Slot to the left. Let's see if they're going to air it out. Here's the snap, and it's a draw out of the backfield to Davis. He has stood up as he hits the 20 and makes about the 23, maybe the 24-yard line. So a gain of four, and the clock continues to work as it clicks down from the 223 mark. Here's third down and a little more than five. Single setback and two wideouts both sides of the ball. Doxon, and it is play action, rolling to his right, pumping, looking down the field, throwing deep, and he threw it away and complete at the 35-yard line. He threw Mark Harris is the punter. He's kicked 49, 44, 43, and 39 today. High snap. He controls it, and it's a nice high spiral. Hall's backing up. He will take it at the 20, and he will get the 20-yard line as they continue to drive him downfield. Slot left. Split in right, and we just moved on the right so left side of the offensive line. I think that's Ruman. Ruman stood up. And they're going to catch the Ags for five from the 20. Move it back to the 15. It will be a first down and 15. Need tickets to Texas Aggie Athletic Events? Then call the Equalnet ticket hotline at 1-888-99-AGGIE. Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. till 4.30. Call for your Aggie tickets. Move them back five more. Penalties now. That's not many. That's the second penalty for 10 yards total today against a &M. Here's the snap. No shotgun. Delay out of the backfield. Is out to the 20. To the 25. That is uh, Tiki again. To the 29-yard line he goes. Second down. A little more than one. Again, no shotgun. Clock rolls. It's 107 to go until halftime. A&M leads 17-7. Pitch it left. Cut it back inside. Bernard. He has 10. He has 15. He's out at midfield. He's across midfield to the 49-yard line. Now the clock will stop as they move the chains on an Aggie first down. Shotgun. 
Clock rolls as they move the chains and get that in place. Back from the 45, throw the ball. Incomplete off the fingertips of the intended receiver, and it might have been Tiki Hardeman. A second down and 10 with 47 seconds to go. And A&M operating at the ISU 48 after a nice run by Eric Bernard. This time A&M shows the shotgun. Here's the second down play. Deep pocket, steps up, throws, and it is intercepted as the intended receiver had fallen down at the 34. 40 seconds to go as they take the ball and hand off to Davis. He breaks it through, and he's out to near the 40-yard line. He'll get about six or seven on that carry. There's a sweep to the right on a handoff to Davis. Now 26 seconds, now 25, 24. Doxon turning around, telling his running backs, Parmeter and Davis, what the play is. Two tight ends, 18 seconds. Snap it at the 17-second mark. And again, they go wide right, and then Davis will be run out of bounds. Heavy eye, two tight ends. Again, Davis hits the middle, breaks it out this way. And now he falls across the 50, and nope, they'll spot him down at the 49. Single setback and three wideouts on the right side of the ball. Tight end is on this side. Single setback again is Davis. It is a first and 10. Here's Doxon dropping all the way back to the 40, now rolling to his right, and then he's going to go deep with it. It's all the way down to the end zone, and it is tapped away, and it's still up in the air, and it is incomplete. All right, here we go. Ready to kick it off is Jamie Cole, sophomore out of Wisconsin. Puts his foot into the ball. It's a classic cruise kick, and it will not be that deep. Connell at the 5, back to the 10, the 15. He is at the 20, he's at the 25. He's fumbled the ball, and AM got it back, I believe. See if the Aggies have it. There's a flag down, by the way, at the 21-yard line. AM has the football, according to Dante Hall. But he's not wearing one of those black and white striped shirts. They just gave it to Iowa State at the 28-yard line. We fumble the opening kickoff, and now a flag at the 21-yard line. Here is Hal Doubt. It's holding against a and That'll be declined. But when they get it all untangled there at the 28, it's Iowa State with the ball. They come out with a light eye and immediately go on the ground to Davis. He's trying to sweep to the left, 25-20. He's out of bounds for the first down carry to the 17-yard line. So now at the 17-yard line, a senior, Albert Connell, has fumbled the opening kickoff, and Iowa State recovered at the Aggie 28. An 11-yard carry on the first play for Iowa State's Troy Davis. The handoff again to Davis, cuts it back at the 15. He's brought down at the 13-yard line. Warwick Holman on the tackle, second down and seven. Have a flanker right, two tight ends, and they come out with the fullback flexed off to the right side. Play action, Doxon rolling right from the 20, throws. It's going to be caught by Parmenter out of the end. Now the backfield, the fullback is down to the two. Here is Doxon under. He hands it off to Davis. He bounces off one man, looks for the corner. Did he get in? He got in. It's a touchdown. Holding will be Jeff St. Clair. Spotted down. The extra point is on its way, and he will get it right between the uprights. 17 to 14 just like that so they'll kick it off for the second time in the second half and they have narrowed it down to a field goal now the field goal of 42 yards off the foot of Kyle Bryant the difference in the game A&M has not scored since the 133 mark in period number one here's Harrison the kick and it's gonna go out of the back of the end zone they'll bring it out to the 20 at first down and 10 at the 20 Still with the lead, still playing good football, Texas A&M. Flanker right, tight end on that side, split in left, pitch it left. Parker looking for the corner, cuts it back. He's across the 20, goes to about the 23-yard line. A&M again averaging uh, for the season, 513 yards in total offense. ISU giving up 466 a game, but they played good D today so far. Here's the handoff, we try the middle, and it will be to Parker again. Hits the 28-yard line before he's brought down. A&M coming to the line of scrimmage on a third down play. Split backs, split in left, flanker right, tight ends on the right side of the formation. And they're coming back this way, looking for the corner. And it will be a first down for the Aggies by Parker. He got across the 30 to the 34-yard line. McKinney and Ruben on the left side of the line. Uh, some uh, 
be uh, Hymuli, uh, Samisi Hymuli on the uh, right side along with Spikes. And they're going to throw, and it's going to be to uh, Hawkins. And Hawkins will catch the ball at the 40 and then get three more to the 43. Uh-huh. Second down in a yard. I want to see that. Here's the pitch. We're coming back right. Cut it back across the 45, close to the 46. That's an A&M first down. Spiller's the tie in on the right side. We have a slot on the left with Connell and Hawkins. The running backs are Broyles and Parker. The handoff goes to Parker. Parker is going to bull his way to near midfield. He got close to five. Right up the middle. Use Calvin Collins. Right back to the line they come. Second down and five. Again, the slot on the left. Once more, the eye. Broyles and Parker. The tight end spillers on the short side. Stewart, pitch it left. That's going to be Bernard at the 50. He's across the 45. He's down near the 41-yard line. It will be a first down Texas a and Still not back in. I guess that's still Bernard back there, and they're going to give it to Bernard. They go to the middle, and they go to the 40, and that's two yards, maybe less than that. On the clock in the third, it's 17-14. to 14. Parker and now Williams are discussing something behind Brandon Stewart. They've got that worked out. They go into position. And they're going to throw back this way. Goes to Connell at the 40. He tries to juke his footing and uh, dives forward to the 39-yard line. Minimal gain of about a yard. Split backs, split in right, Flager left. Straight drop from the 40. And it's caught by Michael Williams. He's not down yet, but now he will be. Got to the 39-yard line, caught it at the line of scrimmage, got by one tackler, couldn't get by the second. First punt of the season, standing outside the 50. And he is pooched one up in the air, and that will go out of bounds. They may have got it out inside the 20. They start to walk it back up this way, and that's it. They got it just inside the 20 at the 19. So they've got Troy Davis and now Darren Davis, his brother, in the backfield. They put Davis, Darren, in motion. Hand off right side to Troy Davis. He has the corner, and they buff him out of bounds. He did not pick up a first down. Second down, more like three. Once again to Davis, and he hits the middle, and he didn't get a whole lot. Maybe a yard, if that. So here's the third down play. Parmeter, the big fullback, has returned on a short yardage situation. Two tight ends. And it goes to Davis. They try on the right side, and Davis is not going to make the first down. He's drugged down behind the line at the 26. So now let's see if he can get field position on this one. They're moving Hawkins up to near the 30-yard line. He's the return man. The punter is Mark Harris, his last of which was 55 yards. They let him get the kick away, and this is a sailor. And here's... Hall backing up to the 14. Tries it up the middle. The 25 cuts it back. He's across the 30, and he will be brought down to the 33. And that was a nice return after a great punt by Mark Harris. Eye formation. Hardeman's the lead back. And it is a handoff to Eric Bernard. And that will try the left side. It was a delay of some kind from Stewart. Hands off to Bernard. Bernard makes the line of scrimmage. He got a half yard. Second down and nine coming. Flanker on the right, split in on the left. Spiller's the tie it in. Snap it, play action. Roll right, throw the ball. It'll be caught by Connell. Good enough for a first down as he's going down up. Are they saying it's incomplete? He caught the ball and went down on a I know. knee. I, don't think, I think they're just saying they it wasn't got a fumble. They I think got he's saying they're down. At the 45-yard line. They cannot say that was an incomplete pass. He caught the ball and was down when he caught it, and then he was hit. I think you're exactly right, and I think that's what they'll rule. they got to rule him down at the 45-yard line. Yep, that's what they'll do, too. High formation, split in right. Snap the ball, hand off to Parker. The left side's coming up. He's looking for the corner, and he trips and falls as he hits the 45 and goes to about the 47-yard line. Dewan Anderson, second down and eight split backs. Hash to the left side. Stewart pulls out from center and says something this side of the formation. Got nine on the 25-second clock. And we just moved. Samisi Hayamuli. Just raised up, and he's going to cost the Aggies five. I think it's you give some credit to the crowd that time. Uh, the offensive line unable to hear the uh, snap count or unable to hear the audible. Mark five off, move the ball back inside the AM 45, back to the 42 yard line. Must get the 45 yard line in ISU territory for the first down. Split box once more. Stewart's under center, takes it. Draw out of the backfield, comes to Hardeman. He has midfield, trips and falls, and goes across the 50, makes it to the 49-yard line. Second time, he goes over 100 for his career. Here's the third down and about five. Stewart drops back to the Aggie 45, throws, caught for a first down at the 40. It will be caught by Albert Connell. Blow the whistles, guys. Really? 
Slot left, tie it in is Campbell in the ball game. And in the backfield once more, coming to the short side of the formation. Parker breaks a tackle at the 40, goes across the 35 to the 34-yard line. Second down and a long two out of an eye. Hardeman is the fullback, Parker's the tailback, and it's going to go to Hardeman. And he will be near the 30, and that should be a first down. They will give him the first down. They'll stop the clock to move the chains. 317 showing on the clock. At the 30, an Aggie first down. That's the Iowa State 30-yard line. Stewart right back to the line of scrimmage. They got a Hodge and a slot to the left side. Spiller returns as the tight end. Pitch it back to the left. Here is Sir Parker. And he is bottled up and knocked down as he tries to get the 30, and they may give him the line of scrimmage. Second down, the same 10 from the 30. Must net the 20-yard line for the first down. And uh, Bernard, Bernard tripped up in the backfield, falls across the 30, goes to about the 27-yard line. Third down and seven. The 20 is the magic line for the Aggies. That gets the first down. Slot to the right, snap it, drop back to the 35, and here's a sack of Stewart. At the 36-yard line, he is sacked. Ball will be spotted to the 43-yard line. Kyle Bryant. Be a 53-yard effort. His longest this year has been 51. Bill Johnston spots it down. Here's the kick. Has the distance, and it is no good. Here's first down and 10 at the ISU 35. Snap the ball and hand it off to Davis. Starts inside, and he will push his way to about the 39. Back to play after the timeout. Play action. Doxson sets the uh, pocket back at the 30. Throws the ball. Complete at the Aggie. 40. Watley caught it. Got him into Aggie territory. Ags faking the blitz. Now they back off. Still might be coming. Long count. Almost got into the neutral zone. Now they hand the ball off. It goes to Davis. He tries to break through, and he does. Gets to about the 35, so he picks up three. Second down and six. Parmeter's the fullback flexed out to the left side. They have two tied ends, and they're going to give it to Davis on a sweep back to the left side. And he is tackled as he crosses the 35. Tied ends on the left side. Matter of fact, two tied ends and a flanker right. And the handoff to uh, Davis, and Davis is stopped at the 30-yard line. He did not get the first down. They will spot the ball at the 37-yard line. And it will be a 47-yard effort, and it's going to be woefully short. It just barely makes it into the end zone. First down and 10 after the missed field goal. It's AM's ball at their 30. Hash mark right side, and they will throw it to Connell at the 31. He dropped the ball. Second down and 10, still the 30-yard line. Pitch it, coming back to the left side. Swarmed at the 30. I think it's Sir Parker. Here's the third down and 10. Slot right, tight end left. Two running backs, one flexed out to the right side. Stewart takes it, drops back to the 25. Throws incomplete. Trying to get the ball to Albert Connell at about the 40-yard line. And where the ball was thrown, had no chance at all with the way it was thrown and where it was thrown of getting a first down because Connell was flying through the air and was inside the 40 when he finally made contact with the ball, but he had a defender all over his back. Here is Leckler, and they almost had that one uh, blocked, and it's been uh, kicked well, and it hits at the 5 and just made it into the end zone. Eddie Jasper is out of the lineup. Here's first down and 10. Goes to Davis. They try out the middle. Davis gets 5 yards to the 20. Third line. They second down and five. They're at the line with a slot to the right. As Doxson calls out signals, and he is handed off to Davis, and Davis will hit the 26, maybe the 27-yard line. There's not a whole lot there. Aggies lead 17-14. Doxson moves in under center. Puts a man in motion. They're rolling this way, looking down the field. He's uh, going to pump for the corner, cuts it back inside. He did not make it. He fumbled the ball. It's been fumbled across the 30, but I think they're going to rule him down at the 29. Let's see where the spot was. Well, it looks like they're going to give him the fumble for the first down. Oh, wait a minute. Boy, he looked like he was down, and he pushed the ball forward. Well, Darcy did. is up, is some kind of unhappy with it. At the 29-yard line. He went down, and then he pushed the ball forward to the 31, and ISU recovered at the 31-yard line. First down and 10, the 31-yard line. So they convert again on a third down. That makes them 8 of 15. They give it to Davis. He tries the middle. He gets a, a yard at most of the 32-yard line. Split in on the right, two running backs. Sags look like they may be coming on the blitz, and they almost had him, and they do. They'll get Doxson at the 28-yard line. 
Third down and 12. The ball's at the 29. Must make it to the ISU 41 for a first down. Green's in motion. And here is Doxon. Back to throw. Steps up. Throws to the sideline. And he uh, underthrew his man. Threw it back behind him. Here is Dante Hall standing back at the AM 31 yard line. Line of scrimmage is the ISU 30. At the 15. Takes the snap. Middle pressure. Nice boomer. And here is Hall at the 25. Starts his return, cutting back left and right, gets it back to the 30, back to the 31-yard line. First down and 10, they're at their own 31. Hardeman, and I think that's Sir Parker is the running backs. So they've lined up in an eye. It's play action, rolling right, throwing, Speller out of the... Oh, Speller had it, then dropped it. He had it in his hands and then dropped the ball at the 35. Second down and 10. Oh, you leave yourself... Oh, a tough offensive chore when you don't do anything at all. Here's a draw out of the backfield to Hardeman, and he is tackled behind the line of scrimmage by James Elmore. 42-yard line is the magic mark. Single setback. Stewart under. Throws. Caught. It's going to be Connell. Connell in midfield. Connell being chased. He's all the way down to the 40. Breaks the tackle. He's going to score. He just scored. And AM ups it down to 23 to 14. Here is Bryant's point after with 7.52 to go in the game. Bill Johnston will be the holder. Kyle Lednecki is the deep snapper. Aggies have just hit on a 70 yard touchdown pass to Albert Connell, and the extra point is good. And now AM has a 10 point advantage again of 24 to 14 over the Cyclones. Of Iowa State. And now at 7.52, they hit a 70-yard pass to Albert Connell. And he scores by breaking uh, at least two and maybe three tackles on his way to the end zone. Here is a sidewinder. It will hit at the 10. and be picked up by Watley. He's going to return to the far side. He breaks through at the 20. And now at about the 22-yard line, he will go down. ISU calls the play on the uh, sideline. And... Uh, they're now at the line of scrimmage on a first and 10 at the 22-yard line. Parmeter and Davis are the running backs. And they put a man in motion. They draw the play. He'll go to the wide side to Davis. He will break a tackle and get across the 25. And he is knocked down on the sideline, but not out of bounds. Slot to the right. Tight end is on the left side. They just moved. They're going to be penalized five yards. <laughs> second down and 10 at the 23 after the penalty. So they lost the five-yard gain by Davis. Slot to the right. Ags may be coming on the blitz. They are coming up the middle. And here is Doxon stepping away. And now he won't get away from the second man. He's dropped to the 16-yard line. He is sacked. Single setback is Davis. They have two wide outs on each side of the ball. A play action. Drop back to the five. Move up to the 10. Throw the ball. And it is out of bounds. Or did he catch that ball inbounds? They're going to say wow. he caught the ball inbounds at the 36-yard line. They are now 9 of 17 on third down conversions. Iowa State at their own 36. And it's play action once more. Doxon running for his life. He is caught and now he throws the Where's ball. The flag? They got to have a Thank flag you. and there it is. He threw it as he was going down. So it'll be intentional grounding on Doxon. And this last, that's the second time today that he's done that. Here's second down and a bunch after the intentional grounding. Doxon drops back to the 15, throws to the sideline, caught by Green. Slips one tackle, slips another. He's across the 40, and he's out of bounds at the 40. You know, he's down at the 43. Two wide outs on the right side, one on the left. Third down and about three. Davis the lone setback. Ags may be coming up the middle. They'll pick up the blitz. They'll throw to Davis. Caught in the backfield. Crosses the 40. Goes to the 50. Falls forward to the Aggie 40. First down and 10. The Aggies with ISU at their 40-yard line. Single setback. Two wide outs left. One on the short side of the formation. Davis again. Starts to back to his left. Goes back to his right. Breaks the tackle. And is knocked out of bounds as he hits the 27-yard line. That's a first down for Troy Davis. And now both the Davis brothers lined up in the backfield and a slot to the left. Play action. Doxon under pressure, coming back this way, throwing deep, going to the end zone, and it is caught for a touchdown by Darren Davis on the end line. Big extra point here for ISU. It's spotted down. The kick is on its way, and the kick is good. It's 24 to 21. They have just hit a 40 yard pass to Darren Davis, and they're about to kick off to Texas AM. They approach it, it's a cruise kick in under end. 
And it'll be uh, Hall at the goal line. Back to the 10. Tripped up as he hits the 15. Goes out to about the 19-yard line. 24 to 21. Aggies huddled up inside their 15. The hash mark is the far side of the field. Hawkins and Connell come this way. It's a light eye. Stewart marks signals. Hands off. Bernard fell down in the backfield. Lost his footing. Lost a yard. Back to the 18. Second down and 11. Split backs. And a delay out of the backfield to Hardeman. He goes to about the 21-yard line. Dante Hawkins on this side. Hall on rather uh, make it uh, Connell on the other side. Quick drop. Pass incomplete at the 25-yard line to Connell. Fourth down, and Leckler standing back at the six. High snap. They're coming. He got it away. And it's a boomer. Going back is Darren Davis. The ball will hit at the 20, hit at the 10. Bounces in the air. And he is killed at the one-yard line. At the two, at the two. And it was killed there by the Aggies' Jason Webster. Wrecking crew time. They're at the line of scrimmage. They line up in the backfield of the running backs. Here's Davis out across the five to about the six-yard line. He gets three. Eye formation behind Doxon this time. And they hand off to Davis. He's trying the other side, and he's caught behind the five. He'll lose back to the five-yard line. It'll be Davis at the five, and third down's coming up. Dat Wynn made that tackle. Got to get it to the 14-yard line or better for a first down. Snap the ball. And it's been fumbled, now picked up at the goal line by Doxson. And here is a pass intended for Watley at about the 14, knocked away by Andre Williams. Jamie Cole, or check it, Mark Harris will stand about a yard off that end line. The line of scrimmage is the five, so he's going to take it deep in his own end zone. Nice snap, outside pressure. The kick is away, and it's not a very good one. It's going to hit at the 45 and roll close to the 50. It's been touched and now will be killed at the 50-yard line. Two minutes and two seconds left in the game. We'll give credit to Jason Webster getting down and killing that punt at the three-yard line. That's a big play. Slot to the left. It's a light eye. It's a handoff in the backfield. Caught outside the 50, or inside the 50, back at the Aggie 49 is Sir Parker. And here is Texas A&M. Stewart's under center. Pitch it. Deep back, Parker looking for this side, goes back the other way. Now he is tackled, and another loss. This one back at the 47-yard line. Now the Aggies will let this one run all the way down. It'll, they'll snap this one with about 110, I think. 110 left in the ball game. 25-second clock is down to 14. It's down to 12. Down to 10. Now they snap it with about nine, and they hand off to Parker. Parker spins away from one man, spins away from another. He makes it down to the 46-yard line. Got about six on the carry. We got 103, 102, now one minute. We're under a minute to go. And it may take a penalty here and let time totally run out. I imagine they will. The ball's on the 45-yard line. It will make it uh, an easier punt. For Leckler, if they elect to go with Leckler, it'll They're make him the, at the 50. The 25-second clock will run down. It's 41, and there's about a, let's see, 13 seconds now, 12. The game clock's at 36. It's going to be down close to 25 seconds when they stop it on the penalty. A&M will take a delay of game, and there it is, and it stops at 26 seconds. So with 26 seconds, the Ags will take a delay of game and send the punt team out on the field. And let's see if they're going to try to block it. Ball is snapped. A little high. He gets the kick away under a lot of pressure. And this is a boomer. Davis is coming to the near sideline. That's going to go into the end zone. Doxon and the offensive unit trot out. They have three wideouts here on this side. Williams, Green, and Watley. Davis is the lone running back. Snap the ball. There's a flag. And I tell you what, Williams moved. You're right. That's exactly what happened. Side. Ed Williams moved. So he blinked, and they'll move him back five to the 15-yard line. All right, single setback, same formation, three wide outs this side. Tight ends on the left side. Straight drop, Doxon. Sets the pocket at the five. Runs up in the pocket now near the 20. Scampering all around. Now he's dropped back at the 16-yard line, and That'll that hurt it. the effort. That'll be it. Nine seconds. He should have thrown the ball, should have gotten rid of it. Down to six seconds, five seconds, four seconds, three, two, one. 
Martin, and time is up, and the game is over, and A&M has won it. They never got another playoff. Doxson scrambling around, really hurt his effort that time. And the Aggies win it by a four to 21, and they ran only one play with 26, make actually 20 seconds on the clock, got only one playoff. So the... I think it allows us to keep going. We came on the road and got our first Big 12 road victory, and uh, I'm pleased with that. We go back home, and uh, you know what happens, and the thing that I want to do with this team, and the, at some point we want a, a conference football game today. Uh, I'm not going to make excuses for it. Uh, we'll go back and try to correct the, the mistakes we made, but uh, in going back, and I told the team, and looking at the, the four straight years we went through the Southwest Conference without losing a game, we had a lot of games like we had today out there. And you come out of the game and uh, people want all this or that. You go back and go to work the next week and you get better. And we've got a very young football team. And I was delighted. There were some real positive things about the game today. And uh, especially positive was the fact that they were on the road and hung in there, uh, had some, uh, some bad things happen and kept hanging in there and found a way to win the ball game. Made the plays that we had to win to win the ball game. And uh, So I was really pleased with that and I think it can be something that we build upon. It, it really does. I, I made that comment yesterday flying in at the airport. Uh, so much of this is foreign country to our players and to our fans for the most part. But you come in and uh, you know this is a uh, you look at the road signs. Uh, I've spent some time up here because at one time I did coach in the Big Eight. But uh, for our players and other people, they, they don't have any idea which direction Ames is from Des Moines or any, any of those things. And, uh, uh, you know, the countryside is really a, a very pleasant experience. I think they've got a nice atmosphere here uh, for a ball game. I was impressed. They had a nice crowd today. And uh, it's, uh, I think this is going to prove to be something that we all – uh, it would be very competitive, but I think we will enjoy the experience of getting to travel, and I think it will be positive for our players.
Blood Team. The music is their famous fight song, the Texas Aggie Warhill.